Disclaimer. Please forgive me now for there may be mispronunciations in this video. Bigfoot has many names, having been seen around the world in different locations with hundreds of sightings. Florida is no different. The elusive humanoid creature equivalent to Bigfoot is known as the skunk ape and has thousands of sightings under its belt. The creature was seen so much that the state legislator in April 1977 introduced a bill, HB 1664, to protect the man-ape. This bill promises fine results for anyone taking, possessing, harming, or molesting any anthropod or humanoid animal which is native to Florida, popularly known as the skunk ape, or doing any act of reasonable capable of harming or molesting such animals. This bill has never been passed into law, but that hasn't stopped discussions about trying again. Legends and stories of the skunk ape encounters go back to early Native American legends, which tells of giants living along the Kissimmee River and of the sand people and mangrove people. Some believe that these legends are describing the skunk ape. There are many different accounts of this creature with different ways of being described. Most commonly described as bipedal, ape-like creature around the height of 5 to 8 feet tall and covered in reddish-brown fur, it is also known for its foul odor, which is why it is named skunk ape. Reports of the skunk ape were particularly common in the 1950s and into the 1970s. The Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization has archived hundreds of alleged sightings across almost every county of Florida from 1955 to the present. The first historical account is of Henry Tanner. He was an early pioneer in Orange County who told about finding Indian graves and the St. John's River with skeletons as big as giants and skulls that would fit over a normal man's head. In 1929, a sighting occurred at the famous and then recently constructed Perky Bat Tower at the Florida Keys. Witnesses reported that an unknown ape-like beast was drawn to the construction site. After inspecting the bat tower, which had just been stocked with bats, the creature shook the tower, driving off the bats, and then it ran off into the woods. In 1935, while excavating shells from a Native American mound, workers unearthed a human thigh bone that was as long as a man's whole leg. Meanwhile, in 1942, a man in Suwannee County reported a similar creature rushing out from the brush line while he was driving down an isolated road. It allegedly grabbed onto his vehicle and beat on the running board and door for a half a mile before departing. In the small community of Barden in Putnam County, Florida, beginning in the 1940s, there were a number of sightings of the creature that came to be known as the Barden Booger. In 1959, Three Boy Scouts emerged in a panic from Ocala National Forest, with a wild tale of having routed from their camp by a big hairy monster. They said it had a human face and the body of an ape. With an unknown date, another story comes from a long-distance trucker who pulled into a rest stop along I-75 one night to go to sleep. The trucker recounted how he was pulled from the cab of his truck by a hairy Bigfoot creature. It came right out of the dark and tried to get into the truck. It carried him under one arm for several yards. My face was pressed into its fur, the old man told a reporter. It smelled awful. The trucker was able to kick himself free and make it back to his truck. The ape creature began pounding on the truck, but after the driver gave a few blasts of his ear horn, it ran off into the woods. In the 1960s, a rash of sightings in central Florida happened around Alachua, County and Marion County. One such report came from 1962, which involved several members of family encountering an ape like creature around their rural home, including one instance of it approaching a window to peer inside at night. In the 1970s, two Palm Beach County Sheriff deputies named Marvin Lewis and Ernie Milner reported that an ape-like creature stalked them through a grove before they shot at it with their firearms. They reported following a trail of footprints where they recovered hair snagged on a barbed wire fence that had been pushed down. In 1971 to 1975, a rash of sightings occurred in Broward County, Florida, and its surrounding areas. Many eyewitnesses reported a nocturnal encounters with a 5-7 to seven foot ape creature with dark red to black fur. Skipping ahead to a 1997 film interview, Paul Smith of New Smyrna described his encounter with a skunk ape. 
He was delivering newspapers in a rural community of Oak Hill one morning before sunrise when he encountered a big human-like beast. He was turning his pickup truck around on a dirt road when he saw the creature in his headlights. It was real big, he said. The thing had long hair all over. I couldn't see its face, only the middle part of its body. Paul then described its odor. There was a terrible smell like rotten cabbage, so bad that I almost gagged. Other than this account, there are three separate and unrelated stories about the skunk ape sightings in the same area. About eight miles to the south of this area, Jake Simmons, a hunter from Melbourne, found several large footprints of which he later made plaster casts. A decade earlier on Ariel Road north of Oak Hill, a girl suffered from a broken arm after being thrown from her horse when a large hairy man ape crossed her path. On February 1971, Five archaeologists excavating a Native American mound deep in the Big Cypress Swamp, which is one of the most isolated areas of Florida, they reported with multiple witnesses involved and who are presumably credible scholars. The five men told of a beast that crashed into their camp in the middle of the night and wrecked it before running off into the swamp. The intruder was described as a large bipedal primate without a neck. It was at least 7 to 8 feet tall and about 700 pounds with shaggy white fur. The men later found footprints that measured 18 inches long and 11 inches wide. They complained about a sickening odor that lingered long after the creature departed. In January 1974, the Hialeah Gardens Police Department responded with a helicopter search along the section of U.S. Highway 27. After a motorist reported to the Florida Highway Patrol that he had hit a seven-foot-tall hairy creature that was crossing the road. The shaken motorist said that after he struck it, the beast attacked his car and made threatening growling noises before limping off into the swamp. The story seemed unbelievable until two or three other people reported seeing a creature limping along the highway. Not just that, but one of the police officers involved in the search spotted a big hairy creature about five miles from where the motorist had struck it. While the incident was reported in several newspapers, none that I could find on the internet by the way, and personnel from both law enforcement agencies recalled the incident, there are no official records of the events, since no formal charges were filed against anyone. In 1997, a photograph of a dark upright figure in the swamp was taken by OJP Fire Control District Chief Vince Dewar. The claims depicts the skunk ape. He reported observing the creature across the road and stopped his car to capture a photograph. Within two weeks, over 50 people reported sightings of a hairy creature within the Big Cypress National Preserve. In the year 2000, the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office received two anonymous photos showing a large hairy ape-like creature. The author of a letter claimed to be an elderly woman who saw the creature. It had been stealing apples from her back porch near I-75 and upon surprising it with her camera. She was afraid it was an escaped orangutan. The photos dubbed the Mayaka skunk ape remain a polarizing topic and their authenticity remains debated. In 2013, Floridian Mike Faulkner took a minute and 55 second video on his iPhone in the Mayaka River State Park of a creature he claims to have been the skunk ape. You can watch this video on YouTube and I will provide a link if I remember in the description since I didn't get permission to use the video. Sightings continue to this day. There seems to be more than one kind of skunk ape. From the records of pre-World War II and countries through the early 1970s, the skunk apes seen were described as chimpanzee-like, short, hairy, and smelly. But since the late 1970s, the skunk ape has become bipedal, 7 feet tall, weighing 300 pounds or more, covered in dark brown, red, or black fur, and bearing a distinct aroma. The hard evidence of the skunk ape is lacking, except for a few questionable plaster casts of footprints and some hair samples that were submitted for analysis, which had no scientific conclusions. Obviously, skeptics have asked about bones. Clearly, the skunk apes must die and leave behind skeletal remains. But Weird Florida says there is a simple answer to this. We know deer and bears exist, yet it is tricky to find deer or bear skeletons as well. Bones simply do not last long in Florida's subtropical environment. What do you think of the skunk ape? Having lived in Florida for a majority of my life, I never experienced a skunk ape or even heard about it until I was doing research on cryptids. Some of the sighting locations were too far from where I live, so I'm surprised by this. Either way, it is an interesting cryptid to learn about. Did you like this video? Want to support this channel and get early access? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.